2011 and I'm happy to have Peter Westerbacker with me yeah. from Rovio, the company behind Angry Birds. Uh -huh. Nice to have you. Hey, good um, to be here. You've sold 10 million I iOS apps in, I don't know, like a 10 year? days. 10 days, yeah. like that. Actually, also just for Angry Birds Rio, so we've uh, sold a few more uh, since then. But uh, yeah, it's uh, the best selling uh, games actually on, on uh, both iOS and Android. And uh, So, so how that. do you explain this success? Well, I think it's just, uh, of course, it's a great game. Uh, it has great characters. It's built for touch devices. There are many reasons why uh, it's, uh, it's a very addictive game. But I, I think that uh, there's no uh, single reason really that you can pinpoint. It's, it's kind of like a combination of many things. And uh, yeah, of course, we're, we're very, uh, very happy with the success. So what did you do before Angry Birds? So we did 51 other games, so we've been through the whole like J2ME, Brew, Hell, you know, so the not so fun uh, days of mobile gaming and uh, our team has long experience in making games, but uh, before the iPhone, before the app stores, it wasn't much fun and you really couldn't uh, get uh, the games out there, but now uh, great games matter, so uh, it's really good for companies like Rovio and other small developers that uh, uh, you can really you know, be successful with great games. So you, you mentioned the, the App Store, the iOS App Store, um, uh, especially also the, the, the Mac App Store, uh, uh -huh. you, you've launched your, your uh, game also there. Yep. Um, so um, do you think uh, App Stores are of a big thing for, for game publishers? I mean, uh, of course, app stores are uh, a big, big uh, part of the success and, and actually uh, that's what enables us to get access to distribution. So uh, at least uh, distribution is not a problem anymore. You can get your game in front of people, they can download it to their devices. So I think that's very important. And that we didn't ha used to have before. You always had to work with one of the big guys and they had to like your game, they had to like you and uh, you know all kinds of hoops that you had to go through to get your game in the hands of uh, your fans. But uh, right now, uh, because of the app stores, we can go directly to our fans and we can get direct feedback from our fans, we can make better games, so I think that's very, very important. Uh, but it's not just about the app stores, I think the same thing with kind of like the open web and uh, kind of like the web stores that are now emerging. We just launched on uh, Google Chrome last week, so we launched Angry Birds for the web, and again, we can reach our fans directly, very efficiently, without having to deal with various uh, middlemen in the in the middle messing things up okay so um, do you do you play any other platforms yeah we are uh, on all the relevant smartphones so we are on iOS Android palm uh, no, all the Nokia platforms uh, coming to Windows Phone 7 uh, the playbook from Blackberry or from RIM and then also uh, uh, PC Mac coming to Linux on, on the web right now and we're going to be on all the consoles as well. So our goal is to be on uh, every relevant platform out there actually. Okay, so uh, a lot of gaming publishers are releasing a lot of games uh, in a year or like... like uh -huh. um, um, so you only released, uh, not, not only released, but um, the last game you released was Angry Birds and was pretty, yeah. pretty, um, pretty successful. So what, what would you say that what other game publishers could learn from your success? Yeah, I think that our thinking is that it's better to have one uh, good game than a hundred not so good games. So I think that that's, uh, it, it's not uh, really interesting how many games you do. Uh, if you are, you know, a game developer, or a publisher, or, or all of that, that I, I really think that uh, people appreciate quality. People appreciate good games. So uh, uh, we we actually think that it makes sense uh, doing less, but doing things uh, better. Okay. So what do you think about uh, Facebook games? Yeah, we're gonna be. Uh, on, on Facebook and we're going to be uh, releasing our social game during the summer. So, uh, okay. of course, again, a very, very important platform. There's hundreds of millions of people uh, using Facebook and, of course, we want to make it very easy for everybody on Facebook to play Angry Birds. So, do you have any plans to, to release a new game or are you focusing on, on Angry Birds yeah, and building the brand? or Both. So, we are focusing on Angry Birds, but there will be new Angry Birds games, just like uh, Nintendo has been doing for the last 25 years, that there's various Mario games. So Mario drives a car, it becomes Mario Kart, Mario flies to space, Super Mario Galaxy. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, Angry Birds will go places as well and 
there will be totally different gameplay uh, featuring Angry Birds and the pigs and everything. Okay, and will there be an Angry Bird movie? Yeah, absolutely, but it's, it's again uh, we're at the planning stages and uh, right now uh, the answer is that yes, absolutely, but you never know. I mean, it's uh, making a movie is a huge project and it will take three to four years before that happens, if at all. So, I mean, you never know, but uh, uh, definitely uh, our plan and our goal is to get an Angry Birds movie done. But it, again, it's just one small part of the Angry Birds world. So there will be animations, books, board games, more Angry Birds games on all platforms and a movie or two. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey, thank you.